Which is more likely to freeze, a discharged battery or a fully charged battery? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper. Visit us online for more information. Here's something to think about. As a flooded battery becomes discharged, the freezing point actually increases. As it becomes charged, the freezing point actually decreases. Typically on a flooded battery, if it's fully charged, it will not freeze until it's negative 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's think about this. You've got a very cold night. The battery, well, let's say it's negative five degrees out, which is not unheard of for the Midwest. The battery, well, it could freeze. When it does freeze, you could damage the case of the battery because as the electrolytes freeze, they expand and it's possible to crack the case of the battery. Also inside of the battery, those expanding frozen electrolytes can damage the plates inside. This can diminish how many cold cranking amps and also voltage the battery can produce. So keep this in mind when you're recommending a replacement for a battery. A battery, well, it may be 20, 30%, but on that really cold night, they could freeze and possibly damage it, and the battery will be no good at all. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.